What's up, Tom Keepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing a new game for you guys, PUBG Mobile. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to bring you a cool little game, PUBG Mobile. So this is a mobile game, of course, of PUBG. Uh, I didn't know this was even a thing. I was rummaging for a new game to try out and, uh, of course, play. So this is it right here. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a small... I'm going to be talking over it because uh, I was... Uh, I, it's from my mobile. I'm not used to... Um, I'm not used to recording uh, um, audio and all that stuff from my mobile. Uh, from like we're supposed to uh, normally... Uh, and, uh, so yeah, basically I'm just doing an old voiceover for the game. So the game is about to start pretty soon here. I cut at some point pretty close here. So basically, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. There's no, there's not going to be audio to the game, but this is like the second or third game I played on my phone. Uh, of course I'm going to talk about how the game works and all that too at the same time. Cause I do enjoy it a lot for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but this is a very, very fun port of the game. So right now you see me dropping down onto the map this is the same map as PUBG, the, the original game uh, player for you uh, um, more people for you guys that don't know what PUBG is it's player player unknowns battleground so yeah <laughs> so but yeah it's the same map of course the textures are not the same uh you're playing with your screen your phone uh screen of course uh, i don't know if you can play with a controller yet but yeah this is basically me dropping down uh the parachute automatically deploys when it gets to that white line on the map and uh, so basically the way it's set up, it's it looks a lot like uh, like the interface from PUBG on the PC. Uh, in the top right, top left corner, you have uh, how many alive, how many you kill. And of course, you got a little logo there. And of course, what's nice too, it also gives you your battery power, your uh, your ping too, which is really helpful. In this case, I, pr I have pretty much good ping while I was playing this game. Uh, I played it earlier this morning while, I re while I'm recording this uh, so, yeah, so basically you start off like any other, uh, PUBG game, uh, I've, like, uh, I didn't mention it before, but it, it is, uh, I've never played PUBG, I'm more, I'm more of, unfortunately, uh, Fortnite, which is fun, but it, I, the Fortnite experience did help me a lot playing this game at the same time, uh, you'll see later in the game, so basically what, one feature you saw there, when you're picking up items off the ground, uh, sometimes it turns yellow. Uh, that's cool. That's an automatic feature that picks up the item for you. So that's pretty nice. Go. Let's say you have a, uh, you have a, uh, uh, an, uh, I don't know, an AK-47 or whatever. It's gonna pick. It's gonna pick up automatically once. You, if you wait a couple seconds over items, uh, it's gonna pick up the uh, like. What did you see here? The M16. That was a better weapon. Whatever I had on my inventory, and it picks up all the ammo. It automatically picks it up. You don't have. You can click on it, or it picks it up automatically, like you see right what it's doing right now. That's a good little way. It, 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 like that, you can pick up the right attachment for your weapons. Uh, it's gonna give you better weapons. Also, it, it does the same thing for the helmet, the vests, uh, backpacks. It's gonna automatically switch everything for you uh, to the better equipment on the floor that's there. The only thing I've noticed, it doesn't pick up, uh, like you see here, the shotgun's better than my handgun that I have. It picks up the, the right ammo for it, and it leaves whatever else there. I can still pick up all the other items, but I, uh, I don't. I don't. So here a little further, this is the first kill, uh, the first attack that I got on this, uh, first time I got attacked. Uh, so basically I've tried to pull the attack here, I'm trying to run away. If you can see in the mini map right, on the mini map top right, there's a, it shows you where the shooting's coming from. In this case I turn around because I saw it was there, start shooting with the, uh, the assault rifle, uh, try to hide a bit just to get my bearings a bit, just to position myself a bit better. And for some reason I... I don't know if people are, are just not super good with their phone yet, or uh, I found it really weird because a lot of the games I played, I got a lot of kills, and I don't know just because I got a more recent, better phone or something like that. I have I don't know if it has something. I have a, pic, a Google Pixel uh, XL2, and uh, it plays fantastically on that six-inch screen. Uh, that's why you'll probably see a couple more videos of these because I really enjoyed it. So this is the next battle. One thing I noticed too is. Not particularly in this game, but a lot of other games uh, I've played is when I'm crouching down or like prone on the, uh, completely prone. I've seen some people actually able to sh they see me from afar or something. So I don't know if because there is a there is a graphic setting. I'm playing on on the highest level graphic setting because it it works great as you can see. It looks great. It uh, doesn't it doesn't lag a lot and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, what one weird thing is I I, I think I don't know if people because I know this was a, this was a thing at the beginning of PUBG where if you have lower res you can uh, see some other people you see I, I saw the guy there to the right um, 
so yeah i don't know if this is a thing with uh if you set lower you there's no grass that appears and stuff like that because i know that was an issue at the pc version of PUBG at the beginning and that's fixed now so that doesn't happen anymore so that's my third kill and like i said like i i line it up as and you can see there's also on the right side there's a uh, there's the uh, the reticle, but I've never I never use it except once I try to use it, uh, but it, I didn't I didn't like it as much. Uh, anyway, here I fast forward a bit because there's going to be another thing going on here. As you can see here, when I open when I open up the player's uh, inventory that, that he had, it never. Uh, this is fast forwarding right now. It, it doesn't show me anything interesting in the backpack itself, so I just keep looking around. That's the nice feature of the right now it's lit up gold on the on the right there it's an it's an eye it's like when you hold alt on your keyboard and you just turn the mouse so you can look around that's a cool little feature uh that's uh, available got my fourth kill there uh so like i said it's a bit weird because i'm i'm just i'm not using the reticle like i was saying i'm just really using uh the crosshair like hip firing it, it <coughs> sorry about that it works actually pretty well so i go check up his stuff i don't think he has anything interesting except ammo for me or something not even uh yeah bandages sort of like the, the original game so here this is the first time i'm going to try using the reticle on the enemy uh on the map there yeah you see again that uh you see shooting right right there where we saw the enemy i i'm still wondering where he is i didn't see him behind the bush and then i eventually see him and then this is where i go in for the kill i try to i set up the reticle try i don't like it as much because now i'm just trying to move move the reticle instead of what i was doing when i was doing the hip firing and then and like it as much so I just go back to hip firing. For some reason it's way easier like that. I don't know if it's it's like it's like a, a weird thing in it that it does. Uh, it, do, it does have aim assist uh, in the game itself. It's on automatically, but I don't really like. I don't. I don't really think you can call this aim assisting right now. He gets a couple shots. I don't know just because I'm getting better shots on him. I just get him. This is a, this is actually my last kill of the game uh, until the end there. Uh, so yeah, this game's, it's pretty fun. So this is the last area. So I see the, I see the buggy there. Uh, it's going, I, I can assume from the left, from the right side, there's going to be people. That's why I'm going to the left side. Uh, this is like the, yeah, the final staging area. This is pretty much the last sequence of the game, uh, where I finish second. Uh, so yeah, keep going hide a bit. Just trying to get, make the time moving forward. The little white circle left on the uh, mini map. This is pretty much the last circle it's going to end up. Uh, by the way, I'm playing this. I was playing this in my kitchen, just on my phone, where I had good signal, good ping, like you can see. Uh, just looking around. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff. All the buttons are pretty easy. I do, I do hate sometimes that, that I'm using. You, you have the uh, the firing button on the left and on the right. I the most obvious one to use is on the right. And also one cool feature too is when you hold the 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 moving button, as you can see on the left. If you hold it up, you see that keeps a sprinting thing turns on and that's cool when you're you're running long distance you can just lock it into position you can let it go and then you can use the 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 eye the eye feature on the right side to look around while you're running uh, without having to worry about uh, multiple things on your uh on your uh on your phone there so yeah, yeah like i was saying the the firing one on the right sometimes it, it, i do find like it gets uh if you're not positioning your finger like you're trying to move your camera around and sometimes you just slightly graze it, it's going to shoot a couple of fire shots and as you know in like battle royale games the essential thing is not to get noticed in a game <laughs> that's the thing here so right now this is like final stuff i, I think i see one guy yeah getting on the building right here on the right uh, he, he hasn't seen me, but I'm trying to, like, slowly advancing as the wall comes in. I'm going to go up to the little barrier wall. I think at this point, the other guy sees me. Uh, I think he's, yeah, he sees me. He doesn't, he tries to engage, doesn't work. I stay behind the barrier here. I think he goes in and kills the other guy inside the house. I think they do a face-to-face. -face. The guy the guy that went into the house never saw him, and he gets godded. He, yeah, he gets godded. And then to one, uh, 1v1, uh, last part of the game... Uh, unfortunately, I got, this is where he tries to, to advance on me. I thought I had a good couple shots on him here. And then the uh, funny part's coming up here. He pulls a, uh, he pulls a, um, CSGO on me here, trying to be tactical and put smoke on me. Uh, right about now, he puts a smoke on me. He doesn't, it, it really doesn't last long. That's the thing. So I'm like, okay, he's coming to the left. So I'm, I'm looking to the left, looking to the right, just making sure. Cause there's a the little popping. So now he's coming right up soon. So at this point, it does control well. I do have to admit, I see him on the right, try to pop out. 
this is where I lose track of him, unfortunately. I really don't know where he went from here. And this is like where I start getting, I'm starting to think, okay, should I go? Should I not go? And of course, because I'm just waiting too far, he comes from behind and, or from the side there. And then he kills me, unfortunately. So that's it. That was pretty fun to finish second. Uh, I have to say this game, it plays very well uh, for a PC game. I really enjoy it for a mobile game. I do recommend it. It is free if you guys want to try it. Uh, it does uh, scratch the itch of wanting to play that. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. And right here, YouTube.com for slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every new week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.